Before we move on, Kra, finally, um, do you see people whose legs they have, I mean, their legs cut off and stuff, who beg along the street? They this go and side. be begging money. This side, or? I mean, in, in Kumasi in general, when you see those people who are along the road begging for money, how do you feel? Okay, everything is good, but if I just only see them sitting down begging money, I'm thinking myself and say, oh God, look at how God, have, look at how you do to me. Because some, their lives, they can't wake up and stand, also do what he can do or she can do and get what I also get in small, small. Time I, I can also go and sit down and think and say, whether I can also give them something or whether one city or two city or five city and say, oh, because she can't wake up. Maybe she can also be trying to do what she or she want to do. But because she can't get up, let me give the best. Adolfo, I'm going to talk to you about the two AJTV. So, I'm going to talk to you about the two AJTV. And I'm going to talk to you about the two AJTV. And I'm going to talk to you about the two AJTV. And I'm going to talk to you about the two AJTV. And I'm going to talk to you about the two AJTV. Ene akura kujo nyansafuo. Ene jume di yen komotu chini e ye surprise kesi yapa na fainso it is very very educative. Wa wobe cheno yenu yeno na ebiya wa jing ana utrimpo adi tu ana mumbi no na asesa. E mi wa baba wey e wa mencheya ene mene no e ba ba chuchu e komo na ne tofa bumu no a baba wey yobiya meka se wudija jadi e na wudi. Oton ensuo along the street, anase ewo e kwanso oton ensuo ewo kwanche kasi edi ya kuni abane na sefo. Na ushe yenu yamba ya ni situation e ya very terrible and very sad. In the sense, minu mi yenu we have our double arms. Yawe yensa mi yenu edi dian edi enante etu anamu wa brabu mu edi dia kuni abane nanso ababa we ushe sini usijina huwa. In other words, she is an amputated person. But then, oh, ye be be a day a boa on one casano. A men casapi, men in the quack or chicken como. Now, the woman is said, Mitrino and Shadan yet, and Tinedia, the Bepo talk a cra. Now, Mijidi said, A tias ye be a woman, a yachimum, I also what yas ye. My dear sister, how are you? I'm fine. Oh, just speak out for me, okay? How are you? I'm fine. Mm. Um, it's it's been a long time that um we've been communicating with you, but then today uh, I realized that uh, you are kind of happy. Are you? Yes. For seeing us once again. Yes. Good. She is very happy for seeing us once more because we were always uh, communicating with her. Um, I would want you to introduce yourself to. Us and then our viewers. What is your name? Hamidu Rahma. Oh, I can't actually hear you. Hamidu Rahma. Hamidu Rahima, right? Yes. Where exactly do you come from? Boko. Boko, that is North. North Boko. Good. Um, for how long have you been in Kumasi here? Eighteen to seven years. Uh, seven months. Six to seven months. It's seven months now. Okay, seven months now. Um, I understand you trade. What do you sell? I'm selling water with uh, this thing. bottle water and the citrus water and the uh, drinks. Good. Uh, how old are you exactly? I'm now 18 years. You are now? 18 years. 18. Good. So she's 18 years and she sells along the street. She sells bottle water pure water and then uh, soft drinks good um discussing with you here coming all the way from boku to kumase what actually brought you here i always came i always uh, finished my final exams and i don't know how to do and because of my sister is also here working now 
That is why I also say that let me come and see what I can also do and it will help me in future. You mean you wrote your exams? Yes, I finished my final exams. Came here. That is, is it SSE or BEC, GHS or SS? It's SS. SS? Yes. Okay, that is, you completed SS and you decided to come down here since your sister is here, live with her and then do something for yourself. Yes. That is quite interesting. Uh, we're still with, uh, with Rahima on Rahama uh, on, on her life and stay in Kumase. Um, let me ask you this. Uh, for your seven months in Kumasi here, how is your stay here being like? Stay here? Okay. Uh, like a place or? Yeah, yeah. Whom do you live with? Okay. Me, I told you, say I was living with my sister, but because I shall gone back to our place, you know. So I only came and have. <laughs> I went and see some of my friends, and she said I should come and stay with their house. So you are living with a friend? No, I'm living with her house, but she herself is not there. So you came to your sister's end, and now your sister has gone back to north, and you were alone here. Yes. Wow. Now let me ask um, about your father and your mother. Where are they? They are all in north, but because my I told you say my father is not in life. It it haven't keep long. Or it's it, this year. But your father died this year. Yes. So you are left with your mother. Yes. How many children did your mother have? I mean, how many are you people? We are five. You are five. And which born are you? First, second, or third? I'm my fourth born. You are the fourth born. So where where are your brothers and your elderly sisters? They are all in love. There's my genius brothers is a distant one, and then my senior sisters they are a distant three. They are in form three school. Three, three people. They are in three what? I, I don't get you. You have a senior so sister. You say she has born five children. Mm -hmm. So I'm in the fourth born. So they those are uh -huh, is my seniors. And Where are they? They are all in no, but some are married. Ah, uh, okay. Most of them are married and they are living with their husbands and wives. Oh, okay. That's right. Are you also married? No, yet. And do you have a child? No, yet. Not yet. Good. Um, that is about your life. I've also come to realize that you have one arm, which is very, very, very pathetic. What happened? What happened? Accident. What? Accident. Is it vehicle, motor, or what? It's a car accident. Car accident. At where? At uh, this in Tamale to my place going to my from tamale going to my place that is from tamale going to your place uh, na, okay okay and then you were involved in an accident in seven years cha. you were seven years old cha, yes when you had an accident and then your arm has to be cut off yes wow we're so here with rahima talking about I mean, her life issues, starting from the family background, and now to why she only possesses one arm. And she's making it clear here that she was involved in an accident at age seven, and to that, she lost one arm. Now, um, since you only have one arm, how do you go about your things, doing of your things at home? Do you have somebody helping you, or you do it alone? Me... But let's take it because I don't know if somebody is helping me you know, about how to do work. I don't feel I only like to do it for myself. But if I also try it, it starts going on through through. So I I will <laughs> I'm the one doing my thing for myself. You you do your things for yourself. Yes. How do you do your washing, your cooking, and stuff? Do you do it yourself? Yes. How do you wash? 
If I only use my one hand and do like this, so I to wash. <laughs> you only use one arm to wash. Yes. How is that possible? Can you explain to us how you go about your washing? How do you do the washing? Okay, I was doing it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. In other words, she washes with one hand. She doesn't feel okay when somebody is doing certain things of hers for her. So she will hold the item or the dress in the single arm or single palm like this and then be crumpling it in soapy water and be washing it. This is kind of very pathetic and very, I mean, sorrowful story but then um she's highly encouraged um let's move on aside doing all those things for yourself even washing and bathing and everything you do it all by yourself yes don't you feel like you need an assistant somebody should be around you to help you <laughs> like i told you first say that like somebody we have somebody that can help me but i only decide that i can do it but if i do it myself it will do it will can it can make like the way i like it okay people are willing to help but then you feel like doing it yourself because when you do it yourself you 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 get it the way you want it wow um let me ask this you also engage yourself in trading you sell water and stuff. How is the business like? Is it moving or it doesn't move? <laughs> it's moving, but because whether if I get 10 cities for a day or 12 cities or 15 days, it, it, it's okay. So in a nutshell, how much do you get in a day? Maybe I can get 15 or, or 18 plus the decent that drinks profit. Too. After the drinks that I don't check that one, it's only buying, but I don't check that one. But it's only water that I can know that one searches for two city, one searches for two city. So if after able to sell whether seven or eight or nine, I can get. So in a day, you you are able to get like fifteen cities, twelve cities, or eighteen cities. No, in a day, if the market is there, I can sell water only water alone, nine searches or. But if the market is not there, I can sell four or five or six or seven. Okay. So in a nutshell, do you buy the water, then you go out to sell, or you come and sell it, then you will take the profit? You know, they are putting their water inside their fridge. Mm -hmm. So if you have money, you can use for city to buy for searches because it's in the fridge. Mm -hmm. So if you are also going to sell, you can sell it for 30, the, the full packet, you know. You can sell 20, 20, 20 pesos, so it will make 30. So it means you are only two cities. Okay. So that you can give the person four cities and you also have two cities. You make sales. Do you save the money or you only take care of yourself with the money that you get? Yes, I've only used the money to have savings most more, but with that money that is taking care of me, buying soap, everything, and then. <laughs> chop money or dress to buy or sandals to buy everything is coming from the water okay so you get the money then you buy things for yourself with the money good um this is your situation of having one arm sometimes when people see you how do they feel or what do they say about you while you are selling outside Okay, sometimes no. Since I came here, no. Sometimes no. Maybe somebody can say, "Oh, may God help you what you are doing," because people are having two hands, but they don't feel to do work that you are doing. But some will pray, say, "God will help you," and some will say that I should be manage this small, small. Do not let any man come and lie to me. And and this one is to my mind or what okay so people do encourage you that you should do it well try to also not allow yourself or any man to take advantage of you and all that so let me ask let me go back to where you stay now where you are staying now do you live alone the place i live you know? yes. 
They play some sleeping no I eat. I'm sleeping alone by the house I day. I'm not day alone. People okay. get the house. Meaning there are a lot of people in the house but then um now has there been an instance where somebody tried to help you in the house because of your condition? You know, me because I'm living alone now, if I only go finish every uh, evening time and go, if I tired, I can sleep tomorrow morning. I will bath uh, only sweeping, that is all, and go back to my place that I'm working. Okay. This is your situation of having one arm. Has it ever affected you? Have you ever felt that, ah, how I wish I have two arms? Have there been an issue or an instance where you felt very bad because you have one arm? Okay. If not that me, if not that somebody used to insult me, me, if I'm doing my things, I don't think that why is it that I have one hand or why is it that I can't do this? But has there been an instance where somebody insulted you? So if somebody use it, yes. If somebody insult me, I will be sitting down and thinking and say, oh, because I can't think again. How? Oh. <laughs> God to let me have go into that situation. Yes. So, but is there a situation? Let me come. Is there a situation where someone tried to insult you because you have one arm? Yes. At where? <laughs> I can't remember. Like, is it in Kumasi here or at now? Kumasi here. I don't come closer to anyone. I only come closer to this my situation. That uh -huh. so maybe when I was in the school or if you're having problem with somebody, the person can take it that way and insulting you or if you are fighting with somebody the person can or the person can see your situation and the, the way he's going to or she's going to respect you or she's going to do she can usually use it to, uh, this, um, to insult you so that one will make you also go and sit down and be thinking that what uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> we're still having a discussion with Rahima and um, she's trying to let us understand something here that she doesn't actually think of her situation she doesn't actually consider what has happened to her but then what will make her think more is when someone uses her situation against her in a form of abusively but for now in Kumase she hasn't I mean come across such but previously people used to I mean, chastise her because she is in such situation. And when it happens so, she sits and then thinks a lot. That why has God allowed her to be in such situation? Now, um, before we end our discussion with you, let me ask. I know you have a very good purpose of coming to Kumase. Now, when you get money, what do you tend to do? What is in your mind that you want to do when you get the money out of the sales that you are making? Okay. Uh, the easily. I still need to continue going to my school. That is the first one. Another thing to say that if I get some more money and it can help me to go to school again, maybe I can also use it to buy my own things and be selling because of... Mm -hmm. She wish she could get money and go back to school. Or she wish she could sell and then establish her own business. That is why she has engaged herself in such a menial job. Let me ask, um, do men come around you to tell you we love you, we love you? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Yes. In Kumasi? Yes. And what do you tell them? Enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Enough. I only tell them say that they see my situation, so I don't want to be being like a useless or mm -hmm. so. <laughs> and when they <laughs> when they tell you they love you, do you think they love you because of your situation, or they just want to take advantage of you? Okay. Sometimes some. If somebody say that he like me, mm. he can tell me say as let us know each other or as let us go to father and mother and finish it. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to see your father and mother. 
But why don't you agree so that they will take you to your father's place? No. Why? No. You don't want to marry now. I only pray. I only pray that I don't want to do uh, things that God don't like. So God, you are the one who do. Let me have in a one hand. So show me the right to go. That's why I only pray. Hmm. God, you created her in such. I mean, with such a situation. So, when she's being confronted with issues of I love you and stuff, she pray to God that God, you know the reason why I'm in such a situation. So, let your will be done. Uh, interestingly, um, you were working when we came down to pick you up. So, we didn't want to waste much of your time with your situation and then with how things are around you. And then... If you compare yourself with other ladies who are walking about saying they don't have job, they can't do anything for themselves and stuff, what piece of advice do you have for them? My friends or those who, who is not doing anything. Those who are not doing anything. Okay, sometime, no. If you, you can also see somebody and say, maybe me, like... I don't feel like go to somebody and discuss something for her because I don't know what is in the person's mind. Mm. But if the person comes closer to me and say, "Oh, sister, the way you are doing is good for you," but I also need to see whether if I do it, no, let's take it. Okay, the way you are doing it, is it good? Is it moving well for me to also come and join that job? And I say yes if you like it because. You know water, everybody eating, you will drink water. <laughs> so you can also come closer. But if the person can try and you can stop because... <sighs> or the person can say, how much is the water money for you to come and be standing and wasting your time? Okay, um, what about, what will you tell others and those viewing us on the television uh, who have two hands but they don't want to work? What do you want to tell them? Okay. If I, okay, let's take it. Uh, if I don't know, if you don't know somebody, if you know that <laughs> something comes to your mind to go and tell that, maybe you fear to tell the person, say, why is it that? <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> Those who don't wake out can also tell them, say that. Maybe if you know you can go to and see any work that can help you, you can also continue going to do that so that it can also help you. But that is, this is the truth that me I want to say because if I see somebody, I don't know the person that, if I don't know the person or you don't know the person, my, the one it thinks is in his, her mind. So you, you fear to go closer to the person and ask her that, this is, I need you to also do this and see, like the way I also do, you know, I'll be fair to say that. But it's not that I'm having a wicked, no, no, no. I only fear that maybe if I, I say this person like this, what the person can do to me or what the person can say to me, that is in my mind. Okay. Um, before we move on, Kra, finally, um, do you see people whose legs... They have, I mean, they are less cut off and stuff. Who beg along the street? They this go and be begging money. This side or? I mean, in, in Kumasi in general, when you see those people who are along the road begging for money, how do you feel? Okay, if I see those who, are, who don't have a one light or one hand, if I only go and... See, but, okay. <laughs> I'll... <laughs> I would say oh, everything is God, but if I just only see them sitting down making money, I'm thinking myself and say, "Oh God, look at how God, have, look at how you do to me." Because some their legs, they can't wake up and stand, also do what he can do or she can do, and get what I also get in most money. So Lord, I need everything for you to come to my mind <laughs> okay, let, me, let me ask this so when you see those people begging for money and you you are working they don't want to work they are begging for money 
those people, what, what comes to your mind or what can you tell them? Time I, I can also go and sit down and think and say, whether I can also give them something or whether one zero or two zero or five zero and say, oh, because she can't wake up, maybe she can also be trying to do what he or she want to do. But because she can't get up, let me give the person this. So you even tend to give out to people? Yes. Though you are in the same situation? Yes. But what advice will you give them? Do you, will you tell them to also go and work? No. If I only give them, I always go in and be thinking it in my mind and be praying and going. I don't tell them anything. Right. Um, the name is Rahima, right? Where? Yeah. Rahama. We had a discussion with Rahama regarding her life and her stay in Kumase. She came all the way from the north, I mean Boko, right? Boko, just to fend for herself. And with her situation, she is uh, an amputee. Let me put it that way. She's having one arm. One arm. So this video is there to educate you and also prompt you and create the awareness that your situation shouldn't bring an end to your life or the situation in which you may find yourself in shouldn't shatter your dreams. With whichever situation that you are being confronted with, you can still do something good for yourself. Sometimes I go about, I see people with double arms, double feet, but yet they say there is no job for them to do. Look at this beautiful girl. She's having one arm. She sells, she does her washings all by herself with no need. So that situation that you are in now, be it blindness, be it whatever, you can still use your hand or use the capabilities God has given you to also do something good for yourself. Let us all viewers try and pick some moral lessons from the life of this young lady so that we may know that the downfall of a man isn't the end of his life thank you very much for joining us in this kind of conversation um and net ye risano brofo and so nyaminti mi jidi ye se ubi biara a fulu e ye en komona ye dieno nyanku pon un shrao na onya o kese se a brenny a brenny na Oshe Eye to AJ TV. Rahima and so that was it. Na medika aka na hiya dia or de two et ye fu any mise. Senka wonon so bit me dija na watu ni suku so. Ana se obe establish on one business na afo fronso aba aba be two new ma wanin chain. Ako akoto. Rahima, thank you very much for having a discussion with us. Okay, the same for you. So now I'm sure we are friends. <laughs> yes. So anytime, any moment, any day, when we pass by, we'll see you and then have a talk with you. Okay. Thank you very much for talking with us. That's right. So God bless you, my viewers, for also staying tuned to watch this conversation. The man behind the camera is I Prince. And my name remains the same. Thank you for watching.